सो टुडे टॉपिक इज जीएल मास्टर क्रिएशन पोस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पोस्ट अकाउंटिंग एंट्री और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पोस्ट डॉक्यूमेंट एंट्री डॉक्यूमेंट एंट्री और अकाउंटिंग एंट्री बोथ आर सेम If you want to post accounting entry or document entry, first we need to create GL master data. Example, Arey Krishna. Example, what type of accounting entries you want to post? First, you can decide that. Example, everyone, I want to post. Example, vendors will come on accounts payable. Customers will come on accounts receivable. Asset accounting, banking, everything will come. Now yeah. our topic is GL, GL master creation and GL document entry posting. That is our target now. Okay. So example, I want to post example, um, commission paid account data to commission payable. Example, uh, one lakh. and 1 lakh 1 lakh and 1 lakh and this is i want to post one more one more everyone example one more um commission payable account data to cash example 1 lakh and 1 lakh 1 lakh and 1 lakh so what you people want to understand here everyone what you people want to understand here example this commission payable is credit here this commission payable is debit here so commission payable credit and debit going to nullify final accounting entry is commission paid account data to cash so this accounting entries we want to post for this purpose how we can create the gl master data then one more one more everyone one more i want to post example this is one set of group let it be you can mark it like this and uh, one more uh, commission receivable receivable account data to commission received receive a bull account data to received example here maybe it's make as a 2 lakhs let it be let's take 1 lakh and 1 lakh and now the next accounting entry is cash account data to commission received sorry receivable receivable example 50000 and 50000 or let it be 75000 why 50000 75000 and 75000 then one more same type of accounting entry here 25000 and 25000 right i want to post this accounting entries so commission receivable is debit here 1 lakh and uh, commission receivable debit here commission receivable is credit here for two accounting entries credit debit and credit will going to nullified this debit and credit will going to nullified final accounting entry is cash account data to commission receipt okay so for this accounting entries i want to post if you want to post this accounting entries you need to create the gl master data so let's note it down first this one please note it down everyone please note it down everyone
we need to note down this general uh, general entry ah that's what ma'am um, that's what i am telling please note it down Done. Noted. Can I go down? Please note it down, everyone. Here receive a bull account data to received. We need to specify it. is this expenses or income. Paid boleto expenses. Received boleto income. Okay. It may be any expense, anything, any objective. Rent, uh, commission, miscellaneous, any objective. After objective, if you put as a paid, then it is called expenses. If you put received, that is called income. You need to specify it. Receive a bull. Receive a bull. Bull means a current asset. Received means income. Done, everyone. Noted. Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> so everyone, example, example, everyone. Example, I'm telling. I want to create, I want to create commission paid. Example, any paid. Paid means expenses. Received means income. Anything, rent paid, miscellaneous, miscellaneous paid. And uh, any paid, uh, whatever paid, paid means expenses, received means income. Okay, got it, uh, Gangadhar ji. Do you got my point? Sorry, Giridhar. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> so, everyone, listen careful. Huh? Listen careful. Focus whatever I am telling. Okay. Everyone, this commission paid. Example, where you will create this GL, where you can create the GL, we can create this GL on T code FS00. Where you will create the GL, we can create this on FS00. Then this commission paid comes under expenses. This commission paid comes under expenses or indirect expenses, whatever. Indirect expenses or expenses, anything. Expenses. Same way, everyone, concentrate here. Even this commission payable, this commission payable also, where you will create, this is also we will create on FS00. FS00. This is comes under current liability. Payable is called liability. Receivable is called current asset. It is called current liability. Okay. Current liability. Okay. It's called current liability. Everyone, concentrated everyone. Now I want to create. Now I want to create commission paid. Where you will create? We will create on FS00. So this commission paid comes under indirect expenses or expenses, anything. Okay. 
So everyone, for indirect expenses, what is the number range we created in the accounts group? Anyone remember? For indirect expenses, what is the number range we created? In indirect expenses, this one, the last one. We taken double four, double zero, double zero two, double four, double nine, double nine. This number range we taken. So now I want to create in between this number to this number. You can take any number. Okay. Example, everyone. I'm going to SAP. Concentrate here, everyone. Now I'm want to create the expenses GL. How to create expenses GL? Anything. Commission paid, rent paid, any paid. Contractor fees paid, any paid. Provisional charges paid, any paid. Okay. Click on your logon. Your username and password. Guys, before going to create, can you please note it down on this one? One more point also you need to write. Uh, can you please note it down this one, everyone? Just headings. Create GL master FS00. Change GL master FS00. Display changes centrally FS04. Block GL master FS00. Unblock GL master FS00. Can you please note it down before going to that? Note it down. Done? Noted everyone? Say yes, no, okay. Just headings noted down more than yes, enough. Sir. But you will understand. Yes, Done, ma'am? Okay. So now I want to create commission paid expenses GL. I want to create expenses GL. Okay. So how to create the expenses GL? The T code is called FS00. For your understanding purpose, even I'm going through path, okay? Either you can go through T code or either you can go through path also. That is the one. Guys, this is the path, everyone. SAP menu, accounting, and uh, financial accounting, SAP menu. I'm not going SPR, okay? SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, master records, then GL accounts, individual processing here, FS00 centrally, you need to go here. So this is the path everyone, SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, general ledger, master record, GL accounts, individual processing, FS00, this is the path. And this is the T code, FS00, simply. So you just double click on this execute button, double click on FS00. And uh, so guys, a lot of people want, a uh, lot of people doing some mistake. What you people want to doing? Example, you people entering the GL, example, you people entering the GL number, I'm entering double four, double zero, double zero. And you people entering the company code. After you, what you need to do? In case if you want to create the GL, you are click on new entry. If you want to create the GL, you people click on new entry. If you press enter, if you press enter, pop up will come like this. If you press enter, pop up will come like this. What is this? Double four double zero double zero does not exist. You did not create it. Okay, don't click on press enter button here. Simply what you want to do, here you can enter the GL number, 
then company code what is your company code everyone pm10 pm10 enter the company code then click on here create here this is the create this is the change this is display so click on here create click on here create now uh, this is accounts group comes under expenses indirect expenses so expenses profit and loss account or balance sheet which one everyone profit, profit and loss account and, and here you can write the description example commission paid account commission paid account then click on your control data click on your control data line item display short key 001 create bank interest tab g001 press enter and save see here everyone gl has been created i'm repeating one second i'm repeating one second everyone i'm repeating one second so enter here 44000 this is the number picking from the accounts group okay the company code pm10 then click on here create so accounts group indirect expenses indirect expenses comes under profit and loss account so here you can write the description then go to control tab then line item display short key 001 create bank interest tab g001 field status g001 press enter and save everyone everyone concentrate everyone concentrate here what is meant by short key what is meant by short key everyone concentrate everyone in the short key in the short key here click on your browse in the short key here what i selected click on your example i am giving explanation here i selected g001 what happened if i select here if i select 001 what happened why i want to select 001 if i select 001 why what is the use of short key what is the use of short key everyone concentrate here everyone example example everyone during the accounting entry posting or document entry posting document entry posting or accounting entry posting during the accounting entry posting there is an one field which field field name is called assignment field assignment field everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here during the accounting entry posting accounting entry posting there is a one field field name is called assignment field okay concentrate here for example on this field on this field where, where is this field this field during the accounting entry posting okay on this field here everyone for example here if you selected posting date example if you selected posting date on this assignment field document entry posting date will update automatically for example for example here here if i selected uh, example document number and physical year for example here i selected document number physical year on short key example click on here change for example here here i selected document number and physical year what happened doc press enter document number and physical year what happened during the accounting entry posting on the assignment field document number and physical year will update automatically so what you people want to understand short key is screen layout of the assignment field so whatever thing you selected in the short key 
assignment field update that information automatically. Note it down one note, everyone. Note it down one note. Note it down one note. Put the heading of short key. Put the heading of short key. Short key is the short key is the screen layout of please note it down everyone. Short key is the screen layout of screen layout of assignment field. assignment field fully stop and note it on next line fully stop and note it on next line Assignment field available. Assignment field available during the accounting entry posting. During the accounting entry posting. Put comma. Continuation. In the short key, in the short key, in the short key, whatever inputs you selected, Whatever inputs you selected, that information, that information will update, that information will update. assignment field that information will update assignment field automatically automatically during the document entry posting during the document entry posting during the document entry postings. Example, example, note it down next line. Example, example, In the short key, in the short key example, note it down next line. Example, in the short key, in the short key, I selected double zero one posting date. I selected double zero one posting date.
posting date. It means, it means during the accounting entry posting, during the accounting entry posting on assignment field, on assignment field posting date document entry posting date document entry posting date update automatically update automatically next line next line in case in case During the accounting entry posting, during the accounting entry posting, if you want to change, if you want to change assignment field, system allow to change the data or change the inputs in case if you want to change you can change it based on the short key the inputs will update automatically so in case if you want to change you can change it that's it that is my intention Can anyone please read the note? Yes, sir. Yeah, please, ma'am. Sort key. Sort key is the screen layout of assignment field. Assignment field available during the accounting entry posting. In the sort key, whatever input you selected, that information will update assignment field automatically during the accounting, uh, during the document entry posting. Example, in the sort key, I selected 001 posting date. It means during the accounting posting, one assignment field, document entry posting date, update automatically. In the case, during the accounting entry posting, if you want to change assignment field, system will allow to change the input data. Yeah. So guys, based on the short key, based on the short key inputs, assignment field will update automatically. In case if you want to change, you can change it. No problem. It can be updated automatically. Okay. Anything, any information. Okay. Maybe you got my point. <clears throat> guys, I'm repeating one second, everyone. So here I'm entering double four double zero double zero company code PM10. So here I selected indirect expenses. Expenses comes under profit and loss account. Then here I selected commission paid and commission paid. Go to control data, line item display, short key 001. Sir, why you did not telling remaining fields? It will come. It will come. Don't be hurry bury. Based on the situation, everything will cover. Don't be hurry bury. Okay. And go to control, create bank interest app. And here you can select G001 field status group, press enter and save. Okay. The next one, next GL I want to create. Next GL I want to create. So what is the GL? What is the next GL? Next GL is commission payable. 
commission payable. So where you will create the commission payable? FS double zero. So this commission payable comes under current liability. Current liability. For the current liability, what is the number range? Anyone remember? Accounts group, current liability accounts group, what we created? Anyone remember number range? What we maintain? Yeah, here. One six double zero double zero to one six double nine double nine. Guys, one GL we already created. Did you remember? Example one six double zero double zero. We already created zero balance clearing account. Did you remember? Now yes. I want to take one double zero 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 one commission payable payable account. Okay, in this number, current liability, this number to this number. Okay, next one. So if example, everyone, for example, here, wherever you're entering the GL number, if you click on this button, if you click on this button, browse or F4 and uh, press enter, press enter button in the keyboard. So here, this will come like this. Example, I created commission paid double four double zero double zero zero balance clearing account one six double zero double zero. Then one more GL I want to create now. Okay. So what is that? One six double zero zero one. Then uh, <clears throat> company code PM one zero. Then click on here create here here. Click on here create. Then here accounts group current liability. So current liability comes under profit and loss account or balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance, balance sheet. So here you can type commission payable account. Commission payable account. Then click on your control data. Line item display, short key 001, everyone. Now you want to click on open item management. You want to click on open item management. Sir, when we want to select open item management, when we don't want to select open item management, what is the purpose of open item? Okay, example, I will tell you. So here you can click on open item management, line item display, short key 001, create bank interest app, as usual G001, press enter and save. Press enter and save. So I'm repeating once again, everyone. After that, I will explain. 16001601, Company code PM10. So here current liability, current liability comes under balance sheet. So here you can select commission payable and commission payable. Payable is called current liability. Payable. Any payable. Rent payable. Contractor fee payable. Miscellaneous payable. Any payable. Any payable. Payable comes under current liability receivable maybe any receivable rent receivable commission receivable any receivable all the receivable comes under current asset receivable comes under current asset payable comes under current liability maybe all commerce students this information knows but non-commerce students also want to understand. That is my intention. <clears throat> so here, click on your control data, open item management, line item display, short key 001, create bank interest app, G001, press enter and see. Guys, sir, when I want to select open item management, when I want to select open item management, Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Everyone, concentrate here. Very, very important thing, everyone. Uh, note it down, note it down one point, everyone. 
ओपन आइटम ओपन आइटम इन द एसएपी टर्मिनोलॉजी वी आर कॉल्ड एज ए ओपन आइटम इन द जनरल अकाउंटिंग टर्मिनोलॉजी ओपन आइटम नथिंग बट आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट ओपन आइटम नथिंग बट आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट मे बी रिसीवेबल और मे बी पेएबल मे बी रिसीवेबल और मे बी पेएबल may be receivable or may be payable open item nothing but or means whatever open item means outstanding amount may be receivable or may be payable okay everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here everyone let's see everyone concentrate here everyone let's see my screen everyone whatever gl whatever gl become credit and debit example it will be credit and it will be debit what happened here it want to going to nullified commission payable want to nullify it's become a zero so for this gl creation time you want to click on open item management not only commission payable any payable all the payables all the payables you want to click on open item management all the receivable why because receivable also going to nullified not only commission receivable any receivable even receivable also become a G zero it want to become a zero so this time receivable creation time you want to click on open item management payable gl creation time you want to click on open item management open item management why because all the payables and receivables control the outstanding amount control the outstanding amount this gls want to become a zero if this gl want to going to nullified or zero example let it be commission receivable is debit here 1 lakh the next accounting entry commission receivable credit year 75000 again next accounting entry commission receivable credit year 25000 so 1 lakh uh, debit 1 lakh is credit debit and credit going to nullified that gl become a zero that is the reason during that gl creation during that gl creation we want to click on open item management so whatever gl become a zero that gl you want to click on open item management it is control the open items it is control the open items note it down everyone example example all the payable gls example all the payable gls and receivable gls all the payable gls and receivable gls creation time all the payable gls and receivable gls creation time we need to select open item management
Can anyone please read the note? Please. Open item management. Open item, nothing but outstanding amount may be receivable or may be payable. Example, all the payable GLs and receivable GLs creation time, we need to select open item management. Open item. Next line noted down, ma'am. Next line, everyone. Next line, next line noted down. Next line noted down. Put the star and note it down. Put the star and note it down. All the vendors and customers, all the vendors and customers, even vendor and customers also become zero. Are you yes or no? Are you agree or not? Yes. Yes. So put the star and note it down. All the vendors and customers in the SAP by default open item management. I, uh, SAP already in the background. By default, it is the open item management. So not a specific radio button we don't want to select during the vendor creation, during the customer creation. You don't want to select open item management. Even you are unable to see that uh, uh, radio button. By default, by default, vendors and customers is the open item management. By default, vendors and customers is the open item management. Why? Because, why? Because vendors and customers also control the outstanding amount. Control the outstanding amount. Noted, ma'am? Noted? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm telling everyone, okay? Everyone, the next one. Next GL I want to create. Next GL I want to create. Next GL I want to create commission payable already created, everyone. So commission payable already created. So already created. So not required to create twice. One GL, you can create one once. That's it. The next one, I want to create cash account. I want to create cash account. So this cash account comes under cash and bank. We created separate accounts group. Where you will create this GL? Even this GLs also we will create on FS double zero. So cash and bank. So this cash comes under cash and bank. This cash comes under cash and bank accounts group. Cash and bank accounts group. Did you remember anyone for the accounts group number range? Which number we can give cash and bank? Anyone? No, no, no one remember. Mm, for the cash and bank, where is this? What number range we can give? Where it is? Double two, double two. Number 23. Oh, very good. Yeah. Double two, double zero, double zero two, double two, double nine, double nine. Okay. So, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Now I'm giving double two, double zero, double zero, company code PM10. Then click on here, create. So accounts group comes under cash and bank. Now you can tell me. So this cash and bank comes under profit and loss account or balance sheet? Balance sheet. Balance sheet, very good. Balance sheet. So here you can write cash account. Cash account. Then control data. Line item display. Short key 001. 
Guys, am I want to click on open item management? No, sir. No. Very good. No. Not required to click on open item management. You can keep it on your mind. Maybe maximum 95%. 95% you want to click on open item management, all the payables and receivables. Some cases, example, some cases, other GLs also we will select. That will come later. That time I can give note. Now, now you can keep it on your mind. Now you can keep it on your mind. All the payables and receivables. Any payable and any receivable. Maybe commission, maybe rent, maybe any objective, any element whatever payables and receivable creation time you want to click on open item other thing not required and uh, click on your control and create bank interest app here you select g001 and relevant to cash flow where is that relevant to cash flow here relevant to cash flow note it down note note it down one note everyone Relevant to cash flow. At the time of, at the time of, at the time of cash and bank related, cash and bank related GL creation. At the time of cash and bank related GL creation. Go on mute, Sarji, please. At the time of cash and bank related GL creations, we want to select, we must want to select. Relevant to cash flow. Relevant to cash flow. Done, everyone? Noted? Yes, sir. Guys, you want to ask one question actually. You want to ask one question. Sir, after your class, example, after my class, sir, I want to analyze specific radio button, any radio button, anything, wherever it is, any radio button, not only master data creation, even configuration data, document entry postings, reports, any field or any radio button, if you want to analyze, sir, how to analyze? Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Whatever field or whatever radio button you want to analyze, simple everyone, I will tell you simple process. You don't want to analyze Google, any other thing, not required to analyze anything. If you analyze, then fine. Otherwise, whatever radio button you want to analyze, go to that radio button. Example, I want to analyze open item management. So click on this open item management. Click on this open item management. Press F1. Press F1 or find F1. Pin F1. Pin F1. F1. System will give lot of information for that indicator. Lot of information. For that open item management purpose, what is the program they wrote? Example here, you can go to technical information. So this program they used, this is the program name. Okay, this is the table. What is meant by table? It will come. Technical field name. All the things will going to come. Okay. Example, example, sir, I want to analyze one more, one more field. Example, I want to analyze relevant to cash flow. How to analyze? 
So click on this, not only this field, any field, maybe configuration field, maybe configuration radio button, master data field, master data radio button, transactional fields, transaction radio buttons, any field, if you want to analyze, if you want to understand more information, what you people want to do, first you select that radio button or whatever, go to that one and press F1. Press F1. So all the things will come. Okay. Example, see here, example, this is the following typically determined class flow account. Example, bank accounts, bank charges, clearing account, all related example, incoming, outgoing, what is meant by incoming, what is meant by outgoing, it will come. Example, all cash and bank related GLs, cash and bank related GLs, you want to click on relevant to cash flow. Just go through that. In case for this radio button, what is the technical data they used? Technical data they used. You can analyze here. You can analyze here. This is the technical data they used. Okay. Maybe you got my point. Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. The next one. Before going to next one, any doubts? So we have a separate uh, field setters group for cash and bank account. Yes, we have separate. Yeah, I created separate. In case do you do not create any separate, you can take current assets. In case if it is separate, you can want to take separate. Field status group, sir. Ha, ah, field status group. Ah, okay, I, I thought accounts group you asked. Field status group, yeah. Field status group is an optional. Okay. Field status group is the optional. You can select anyone. Okay, it is an optional. Yes, in case if you want to select separate one, you can select. Okay, bank accounting or any other thing. Lot of things is available. Okay, if you want to select other thing, you can select. Otherwise, it's a standard. G001. Okay. There is a lot of field status groups is available. In case if you want to select, you can select it. Not required now. For now, you can select G001. Other things will come later. Okay. If, if you want to select, you can select it. This is the optional. You can select anyone. No problem. Got it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Any other questions? No questions, sir. Good. Next one. Next one I want to create. Commission receivable. I can ask one question, everyone. Commission receivable comes under open item management or not? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Open item management. So commission receivable comes under which accounts group? Assets. Current assets. Current assets. Current assets. Current assets. Current assets. Very good. So current asset. What is the number range? Created? Current asset. Current asset. Where is the current? Two five double zero. Two five double zero double zero. Very good. Two five double zero double zero. Very good. This one, current asset. Let's create that, everyone. Let's create. Pat a pat karenge. Two five two five double zero double zero. Then company code PM one zero. Click on here create. Then accounts group example current asset. So now everyone, current asset profit and loss account or balance sheet. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. So here you can write commission receivable. Receivable. Commission receivable. Then click on your control data. Open with your this. Open item management. Line item display. Short key 001. Create bank interest app. Field status group, you can select anyone, no problem. G001, press enter and save. 
Okay, I'm repeating once again, everyone. Two five double zero double zero company code PM one zero, and uh, it comes under current asset. Current asset comes under balance sheet. Here you can write commission receivable and receivable. Control data, line item display, open item management. G double zero one create bank interest of G double zero one press enter and click. Okay. The next one. Next one. The next one. Let it be. Permission received. Okay. Now you can tell me, everyone. Commission received comes under anyone? Income. Income. Commission received comes under income. So income comes under balance sheet or profit and loss account? Profit and loss account. Profit and loss account. So is it open item management or not? Yes. No. No, no. It is uh, received. 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 Is... No. Receivable. Yes. Bull, bull, yes. Received, no. Okay. Received, no. Okay. So for the income, what is the number range we created? Anyone remember? Income. Number range. No one remember? Huh? Income, income, number range. Other incomes. 320000. 320000 to 329999. Okay. How easy GL creation? Huh? Very easy, right? Yes, no? Yes, sir. 3200. Very good. 320000. Company code PM10. Click on your create. So it comes under other income. Other income. So income, profit and loss account. So here, example, commission received, received account. Then click on your control data, line item display, short key 001. And create bank interest app, G001. Press enter and save. Okay. The next one. Next one, so cash GL we already created, not required to create again. Then commission receivable already created, cash already created, receivable already created. Everyone, I will tell you one thing. Basically, I don't want to discuss the table, table will come later. I want to tell one thing everyone. Sir, you want to ask one question. Sir. I want to see, I want to see how many GLs I created. How many GLs I created? Note it down, note it down, note it down, everyone. Note it down one note. Note it down. How to check, how to check GL tree, tree, tree boleto. Uh, three. 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 How to check GL3? Note it down. Note it down, everyone. First, see my screen. Later, note it down. Everyone, concentrate here. Let's see. Let's see my screen. Everyone, later, you can note it down. Let's see. Go to FS00. Go to FS00. Press enter. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone, concentrate here. Click on your settings. And uh, here, go to hierarchy display. And display account navigation tree. Then click on your OK. OK. And go back, go back, slash and slash and go back. Again, come to FS00. Come to FS double G. See, the tree will come. Example under cash and bank, we created cash account. Under current assets, we created commission receivable. Current liability, 
we created two GLs. One is zero balance clearing account and one is commission payable. Under uh, indirect expenses, commission paid. Other incomes, commission received. Everyone, you can practice and take the picture and post into the group. I will see how you are practicing. For example, everyone, for example, if you double click on cash account, if you double click on cash account, all the inputs will come. Here you can check it out. Here you can check it out. If you double click on commission received, so all the inputs will come here, whatever you created. You just double click on zero balance, all the inputs will come. Okay, maybe you got my point. So how to close this tree? How to close this tree? Very simple. Go to settings, hierarchy display, do not display navigation tree. Click on your OK. OK. And uh, slash and go back, slash and go back. Again, come to FS double G. See now. Otherwise, there is a one more option, sir, how to see uh, all the GLs. One more option. Simply here, everyone. Simply here in the GL accounts. Click on your browse and uh, press enter. So all the GLs will come here also, list of the GLs. Okay. Now note it down, how to see the tree. How to see the tree. Go to FS double zero. Go to, note it down, go to F, step by step, note it down. First step, go to FS double zero. Second step, in the menu bar, in the menu bar, go to settings, click on hierarchy display. Next step is in the menu bar, go to settings, hierarchy display. Next step, select display account in navigation tree. Some people, maybe some people know who work in the end users now that people know how to set up the navigation tree. But who does not know that people, please note it down. Display account in navigation tree. Click on here, okay. Then okay, again okay. Next step, go back to slash n, slash n, back to SAP Easy Access screen. Next step, come to again FS double G. We will come. In case if you want to close the tree, again go to settings, hierarchy display. Do not display navigation tree, then click on your OK, then OK, go back and come again. You got my point, maybe. The next step is. Let it be remaining. Anyone, any doubts? Anyone, any doubts? Any clarifications? No doubts. Guys, why, why I am trying to take in the class Saturday, Sunday means basically our class is Monday to Friday. 
why i am taking why i try to take the saturday sunday means last week i given two holidays guys that is the reason i taken sunday also sorry for that okay even yesterday here some heavy rain uh, power is not there that is the reason we miss let it be so tomorrow onwards our regular classes monday to friday okay please join the tomorrow maybe tomorrow we are going to change the link actually okay anyway in case any link will change we will update in that group okay any others tell me girdar sir tell me oh uh, i said okay okay thank you sir bye sir happy weekend thank you, thank you sir thank you thank you sir